The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Artsakh exercised its rights to self-determination in accordance with all international norms. Slavik Agabalyan. Civil society organizations submitted a report to the UN Committee. Armenia is considered the leader state among the struggle to prevent genocide. Director of the Lemkin Institute. Region TV referred to Norai Sohomonyan. Baku declares military, the sports and cultural complex. Baku should promise autonomy for the people of Artsakh, Ara Ghazavian. Funds for the organization of the Jubilee events of the 100th birthdays of Parajan of Naznavut. During an interview on Western Armenia TV, international scholar Slavik Agabalyan, who is from Artsakh by his root, addressed the issue of Artsakh. In his speech, Agabalyan mentioned that Artsakh had exercised its right to self-determination in accordance with all international norms. You can watch the interview of Slavik Agabalyan on the YouTube page of Western Armenian TV. The Foundation for the Development of Democracy, the NGO Protection of Rights Without Borders, the Transparency International Anti Corruption Center, the Venezuela Office of the Helsinki Civil Assembly, the Foundation for the Development and Protection of Rights, and the International Partnership for Human Rights presented a joint report to the United Nations Committee Against Torture before the start of the five periodic report of Baku. The UN Committee Against Torture is a body of 10 independent experts that monitors the implementations of the Convention Against Torture and other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment by state parties. The committee holds states accountable for human rights violations by investigating reports of torture. The report of the civil society organization refers to the fulfillment of Baku's obligations in the direction of preventing torture and combating it, particularly the cases of torture and ill treatment of Armenians of the, on the basis of ethnic discrimination. After the last observation, the human rights situation in, in Baku has significantly worsened. In addition to severe repression of dissent, mass media disappropriation, restrictions on fundamental freedoms, torture and arbitrary internal detention, Baku has carried out a series of military attacks against Artsakh and Armenia. The use of force was combined with gross violations of human rights and humanitarian law, including torture, the ninth mass blockade of Artsakh, the intimidation of the local Armenian population, which led to the forced displacement of the Armenian population of Artsakh in September 2023, says the report. In the report, the organization included a number of recommendations regarding the fulfillment of Baku's obligations, especially demanding the immediate repatriation of all Armenian prisoners held in Baku, conducting an independent, urgent investigation into the cases of killing, torture, and ill treatment of Armenian prisoners in the context of military operations of 2020 and 2023, and holding them accountable for these tortures to the culprits and provide additional clear information regarding the steps to investigate the cases elect for torture and ill treatment as well as to ensure unimpeded communication with the lawyer of their choice and family members for the Armenian prisoners. Armenia is uh, considered the leader state in the struggle to prevent genocide. Director of Lemkin Institute informed about this. Doctors of sciences, professors, experts, armenologists, scientists of universities, research centers, and departments from about 20 countries participated in the three-day conference at the National Academy of Science of Eastern Armenia. The purpose of the international conference is to discuss Armenia's relations with neighboring states and people, the role played by Armenian statehood in the region. Armenia as a civilization crossroads. Eliza von Yodenforge, executive director of the Lemkin Institute for the Prevention of Genocides, also spoke at the conference entitled Historical and Cultural Relations. She referred to the prevention of genocides and Armenia's role in that matter. I realize that today I am speaking in a very difficult time for Armenian Armenians in a geopolitical and ontological sense. It is difficult to talk about Armenia as a leader in genocide prevention, when the country only six months ago survived what many called the second genocide against Armenians in Artsakh. The Lemkin Institute considers the genocide in Artsakh to be one of the most massive and effective cases in history when Baku wiped out the entire Armenian community of Artsakh from the land of its ancestors within a matter of days. 4,000 years of indigenous civilization were left out. The Lemkin Institute deeply regret this global error. We are committed to struggle for justice. There are factual ontological issues that Armenia and Armenian communities around the world are dealing with today, including the East 
Jerusalem community as well as those communities that are increasingly being targeted by the Grey Wolves terrorist organization. This ontological issue should be lessons for the world community in the context of the long-term struggle to prevent genocide. Region TV referred to Nuray Sogomonyan's son of Western Armenia. Nuray Sogomonyan, who was immortalized on the first day of the 44th day war, was born in the village of Artabung, Vyadzor region. He was a student of art school of Yeregnadzor city. He was a gifted artist and he also received a musical education as well. He has mastered a number of musical instruments. He was enlisted into the army on July 16, 2019 and served in the military unit of Jeragan. He was a sniper and died on the first day of the war fighting relentlessly in the combat position entrusted to him. Norai struggled to the end, and he was not the type of person to give up. I don't consider him a victim. They gave their lives, they become immortal, says Susanna Vartanian, the mother of hero Norai Sohamonian. During a report broadcast on Baku TV channel on March 20, 2024, the sports and cultural complex being built at the top of Haikavan, district of Stepanakert, before the 44th day war of 2020 was presented as a secret military complex of Armenians near Stepanakert. According to the journalist, there were hiding places dug into the rock, secret rooms, warehouses, and the area was suitable for controlling Stepanakert and Shushi. The journalist presents some papers as evidence calling them special documents and showing several licensed number of cars found in the area which can be seen quite well and it is obvious that they are civilian licensed number of cars. And in fact, it is part of Stepanagar large sports and cultural memorial was being built which would perpetuate the memory of all victims of the national struggle. It was built with Simon Petrosian's investments. Construction started back in 2007. A museum was planned as part of the complex. The later was to be on the first floor and had a rock hewn section, the walls of which were to be decorated with sculptures and images representing Armenian history. The museum was supposed to present the liberation struggle of the Armenian people, the history of the region, the liberation struggle of Artsakh. Work was still ongoing as of 2019 and remained unfinished as a result of the 44-day war. Thus, Baku claimed that this complex had military significance and are groundless. Baku should promise autonomy so that the people of Artsakh can return to Artsakh. Ara Ghazarian mentioned about this. Baku should at least promise autonomy so that the people of Artsakh can return to Artsakh. International lawyer Ara Ghazarian announced this during the discussion held at the American University of Armenia. Recalling the Pace decision and the temporary deprivation of the Baku delegation's mandate, the lawyer emphasized that the universal law applies to Armenians split from Baku both in 1988 and up to 1991, and later during the last aggression and total depopulation of the region. Ghazajan said that the experts come to the conclusion that the return of refugees has the jurisdiction of customary law, especially since Baku has not said and cannot say that refugees have no right to return. Of course, we know that Baku is a hypocrite and says one thing for the internet audience and another thing for the external audience, the lawyer noted. Referring to UN data, he noted that there are about 110 million refugees in the world and about 3-4 million return to their places of residence every year, which means that the process is underway and there are mechanisms. So far, out of four dozen countries, only four countries have refused to ensure the return of refugees, said Ghazadian. The lawyer emphasized that the inalienable right of Artsakh residents to return as Artsakh is their homeland hears many traces of cultural presence and Artsakh residents also have material rights to the rest of their property. Speaking about Baku's demand to abandon mutual claims in international courts, the lawyer explained it with Yerevan's successes. The right of return is definitely established by international law and we should take advantage of it, concluded the lawyer. Funds for the organization of the jubilee event of the 100th of Paradise of Parajana and Aznavur. The sum of 1,393,405,000 drums will be directed to the proper organization and implementation of the jubilee events of the 100th anniversary of the birth of famous film director Sergei Parajanov, a national hero of Armenia, winner of the French Legion of Honor, world famous chansonnier, public figure Charles Aznavour. The 100th anniversaries of the births of Sergei Parajanov and Charles Aznavour have been included in the 2024 and 2025 UNESCO Jubilee of Famous People and Important Events. Calendar and Jubilee events planned have the right to appear under the UNESCO logo.
The jubilees of the genius film director and chansonnier are highlighted in terms of appreciation of their art, population of their unique creative heritage. This was all for today. Goodbye. Hai as gav mi asit vengu khach mer zerkin grafkan in kususi u astuts mer kalkin o sumen mas chinchin o sumen mesh kotrin bats mun gloch mi asin ke kotrin tork shonin artsakh na artsakh tsin karel chenaran tsin astuts mer mi atsin togort ne Lochin, Arzachna, Arzachin, Karel Chum.